And I just have a lot of thank yous that I need to say. Uh, because nobody's career, page three, verse, <laughs> nobody's career is built by themselves. Yes, Donna was um, uh, an inspirational person. She was, uh, um, she can conceptualize. She would see the song, the dress, the stage, the light, all before a first line was ever even written. But she had a lot of great people around her, so I'm just going to name names. Giorgio Moroder, Pete yeah. Pilati, Giorgio yeah. Collins, Howard Faltermeyer, Keith Corson, Neil Bogart, <clears throat> Bruce Bird, Cecil Holmes, <laughs> Mark Paul Simon, <clears throat> her great manager and my childhood friend from my neighborhood in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Susan Mineo, her agent, Norman Brokaw, Rob Heller, <clears throat> Marty Beck, Susan Weaving, David Geffen, Quincy Jones, <clears throat> Quincy, Congratulations and congratulations to all the inductees tonight. But actually, Q produced a record with my wife uh, where he produced a great song called State of Independence. And at that time, yeah. this one was in her belly. So that's how great a producer Q is. <laughs> Michael O'Marion. And I have to give a big shout out to all of Donna's fans around the world. Yeah. It was a love affair, you know. You know, we would do night after night after night of shows, and Donna would be exhausted. I said, come on, baby, let's get on the bus and run. And she'd say, no, I have to go say hello to my fans. And she would go back, she'd fix her makeup, change her clothes, and go out and sign autographs, and she knew their names. They, it was, a, it was a, a beautiful thing, and she loved her fans. So, and I have to say, in this past year, her fans have been so supportive to me and to the girls. Uh, so much love, so much care, so much prayer. Thank you. <laughs> and last but not least, I have to uh, thank the DJs. Not only the radio DJs, but those club DJs from the very beginning, yeah. all around the world. Yeah.